I'm Audrey Bass. I teach strings at Eastside High School. In orchestra, you have everyone with the same goal. Everyone's learning the same piece. Everyone's performing together. I want everyone in my class to feel valued and inspired, and I want them to feel like they matter. Go one, good. I think my greatest strength is the relationships that I build with my students, and that's just so important to me, sometimes more than my content area. Um, I want them to play music, and I want them to play music beautifully, but more than that, I want them to feel valued in my classroom, and I want them to feel like they have a place to belong, and I want them to feel successful. <laughs> And I feel like that's just so important. And so when I think about what a district teacher of the year should be, or just anyone representing such a large amount of educators, it should be someone that loves their students and cares about them. Just immensely, and, and their students are their why, and that's why they go to work. I'm Becky Benjamin, and I teach English at Wade Hampton High School. We'll probably see this on the test. As an English teacher, I'm blessed to be able to nurture empathy in my students through someone else's story. So in looking at literary texts, we are able to sit in a circle and discuss, you know, these events, these life changes characters are going through. The best he can do is like look out for his like actual physical health and well-being. They share with me their vulnerabilities in a circle where we are all trust each other and they see that their stories, their own personal stories are just as powerful when their classmates talk to them and reassure them and um, give them um, comments like thank you for sharing. Okay, does the story ever end? I am so lucky to be where I am in my life right now at Wade Hampton High School and um, to be a part of these children's lives who I will continue to be a part of forever. I'm Carrie Fay and I teach first grade in the Greenville County Schools virtual program. So we had 32, we took away one, and now we have 31. When I decided to become a teacher, it wasn't um, something that I was choosing, it chose me. And so, the act of being an educator in and of itself is a gift. Abracadabra! Now what's my number, Cucumber? Taking my gift and being able to spread it to children um, so that they can eventually find their gift that they're going to give is extremely powerful. All the ladies in the middle now is shake, shake, shake. At the end of the day, kids are kids, and so a lot of what I do successfully in the virtual program, I 100% believe in the virtual program. Go Gabriel! It works for me because I am um, a bigger than life personality that can come right through your screen. My name is Polly the Punctuation Princess. I can get across what I would in the classroom with that same energy and, um, and reach out through a screen and get to students. You can use an exclamation point for yelling. I feel like I have the best job in the world. I get to get up every morning and I get to change the world one child at a time. I'm Wendy Franz. I teach fifth grade at Brushy Creek Elementary. Let's go. My favorite part about teaching is the kids. That's why I get up every morning. I love when I get to meet a new class. They become my kids and I call them my kids. I tell them the first day of school, you're going to be my kids. So if you do something silly, um, I'm gonna be upset at you, just like your mom would. <laughs> so you are my kids for the next 180 days and um, forever, really. 5,000 pounds or five tons. I just care that they're kind to others and that they learn how to communicate with others in life and learn how to work out their problems without um, getting upset or getting angry. And so um, I try to role model that for them as a teacher and help them work through that as students. I don't ever wanna become just the one who just shows up every day at 7.45 or 7.30 and like, I'm here, let's get this done. I don't ever want to become that teacher. Add the zeros because it's 2,000, it's not two. 
I want parents to know that they are getting a teacher that is going to love their child, that is going to put 100% into teaching their child what they need to learn for fifth grade especially, but what they need to learn for life. Um, they need to know that I'm going to do the best I can for their child and the best thing for their child. They will be a better person when they're done with me. My name is Janet Herrera-Gant. I teach third grade at Bethel Elementary. Could we say water plays an important part in our lives and in our environment? I feel that we are building a foundation for these children. I want you to work together on this. And we want it to be strong and we want it to be successful. And so I believe that we are building a confidence in them um, that they believe that they can be strong and they can be successful. I truly feel that every day I walk into my classroom, I want that for my children. So imagine if we didn't have rain at all. Teaching children was something I truly felt fulfillment in, and a lot of that stems from my own childhood experiences. So just, I spent time reflecting on what I went through and the teachers that truly helped me succeed in life. And I truly wanted to be that for some child. Look at the first couple of words. My students smile. I love knowing that I have a fantastic lesson or a story that I'm gonna be able to share with them and they're gonna get excited. And to see their smiles and their excitement and their enthusiasm, um, that drives me to wake up every day. My name is Hank Hill. I teach health science and EMS at Riverside High School. What we do in our classroom is, is I put them in like scenarios. The pressure in my chest, I feel like an elephant sitting on my chest. We teach them basic first aid skills. We teach them CPR. We teach them how to, uh, to do the Heimlich maneuver, how to take care of choking babies, choking children, choking adults. We prepare them and give them a set of skills that they can take with them. Say your patient weighs about 300 pounds, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. I have to gain their trust. And the more they trust me and the more that they believe in me and they see that I care about them genuinely. Okay, good. That opens up a whole nother avenue and um, learning really, really begins. It's been my experience so far that as much as I can tie to real life. Continue to care, keep them comfortable. It just kind of makes a little bit of a bigger impact. All we've done so far is got him on oxygen. Blood pressure now is going to be 100. The cool thing about the course that, that, that I teach and some of my colleagues teach is we can offer them the opportunity to complete a course that allows them to take a certification test so that they can walk right off the graduation stage and go to work into a career. Four corner, that's a great call. It's something different every day, and to be able to introduce them to such an awesome career field and share my passion with them and to see them kind of like light up, man, that, that makes it worth it all. My name is Leslie Hip. I teach second grade at Robert E. Cashin Elementary School. All right, so you are already ahead to make a plan to solve, right? I had came up with this crazy idea to have my dad help me build a stage. What is the number? And if I borrow a 10, how many ones do I need to draw, JC on? And it just allows me to have this like energy and this presence. I want my kids to love school. I really want them to come to school and be excited to be there. In college, my junior year, I was able to go to the Ron Clark Academy and I was absolutely enthralled. The students loved to be there. I was captivated as a college student. I wanted to be there. I wanted to learn from that. And I really just really became passionate about wanting my students to feel the same way. Get to look at the whole scene. Just kind of always keeping them on their toes. They never know what fun, exciting thing is happening next. And it's creating an environment in my classroom where my students love my class. Are you gonna tell me to act? So I just think through creating that fun, engaging environment, my students are just learning to love school and it's a place they wanna be. I'm Sarah Munson. I am an ELA teacher at League Academy and have been at League Academy for, this is my 37th year. The sweetest honey is loathsome in his own deliciousness. My mom, she taught for 48 years. She just inspired me. What happens to that gunpowder and what happens to that flame, boom. I push my students. Uh, the English language arts standards are very broad, but 
You want to take the children deep, deep, deep into the analytical world of literature. You want to take them as far as you can take them. Which is a little bit ironic, right? I mean, I think we could say a thing, don't rush into things. I mean, we're gonna have fun with it. I, I love to infuse the arts into almost everything we do. These violent delights have violent ends and in their triumph die like fire. I really, really try to let them know, yes, this content is very important, but superseding that entirely is that you become more and more and more a citizen of this world that cares about and loves other people and does good things. There are many places that are just near and dear to me, and Lee Academy is one of those places. It is in my heart. My name is Devin Moore. I teach second grade at Summit Drive Elementary. One day, Curious Jane wondered where eggs come from. So my teaching philosophy centers around the fact that all students can learn. And I encourage everyone, especially young people, to make the world a better place. So we do a lot of interactive um, read-alouds. It is critical that students are the center of their learning because they are the ones that have to take these skills and strategies that we teach them to the next grade. And so as a facilitator of learning, I teach core content and teach them strategies and then they have lots of time to put those strategies into practice in my classroom. There it is right there. Giving students different types of opportunities, I believe helps level the playing field in the classroom. So we're able to meet each student where they are and help them each individually become successful. This is the actual Jane Goodall, yes. And look, do you think this is a real picture? I um, love second grade because we're really able to um, think deeply about stories and they're able to do so much more. And so um, I just love the age. They still love you and they love school and they love being there, um, love learning. And um, it's just very rewarding. I am Michelle Stein. I teach seventh grade inclusion at Northwest Middle School. Being an inclusion teacher means I travel. So I go from one math class on one team to one math class on the other team. And see what the measurements become, okay? And then record them and find the sum. An inclusion teacher is a special education teacher who works directly with general education teachers, typically in the math and ELA setting. I serve and, and provide services to seventh grade special education students. The co-teachers that I teach with um, are very open and, and willing and love the inclusion model. Is that where you want it? Okay, so what's this one now? All means all is extremely important for my role as an inclusion teacher, as a special education teacher, because I truly, at my core, believe that all students can learn, that all students can be successful, despite disability, ability, anything. So right now, it's at 135 and 45, right? I do what I do, and I get up and go to work every day because I love those kids so much. When I see them succeed and those aha moments of when it clicks, you know, after we've done something over and over again and done it in different ways, that's why I love what I do.